So you are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minthelia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space? A mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Ah, oh, apparently that's all I get for voice acting. It was a fair bit, to be fair, but whatever. Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at a word from me, they will be glad to afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied to you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who will be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers are ready, my lady. Thank you, Tetaru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the Retainer's Registry. 
As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult the retainer vo vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that reta retainers will provide invaluable to you in your adventur adventuring endeavours. Let this jester, su jester? Just, just serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you agree, and one which serves to greater bene to greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it's important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can do we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us when you've come to a decision. You may tell me without fear of censor. Censure? In good faith I shall entrust you with our Wodas password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Ba 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 da 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 da. Hiring a retainer. Retainers are useful NPCs that do many things. And there's a person in each town. Oh, you can hire two at once. I didn't know that. Wow, I've got a lot of crap. Crap I can't use as well. Any nice rings? Oh, no, of course not. Uh, well, we can replace that one. Oh, it's a strength one. That doesn't help at all. Any earrings? No, nothing useful again. And uh, no necklaces. Necklaces. Hmm. I haven't I got them. Intelligence plus three. Intelligence plus two. Okay, weird. Sure, whatever. Man, uh, obviously I've got a better head thing, but nah. Okay, what do you want from me? We see on to but one objective. To safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our graver concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the, the threat they pose. I know not what you desire for yourself, nor what it is that fought, first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Alex. Eh, uh, well, I don't really know what brought me here. I go whither the wild rose, rose blooms. Yours is no small endeavour, the dangers are great, nothing. Ooh, look, necklaces. Not necklace, neck and lace. Infilia is waiting to hear whether or not you'll pledge your support to the Seons of the Seventh Stone. Sure, why not? Don't know what these primal things are, but sure. I take it you will help us. Yes. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come. I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? No. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Welcome! <gasps> oh, 
Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Urianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartoneau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh! I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance! In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But, without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Urianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. Quest accepted! Bet you missed my voice. <laughs> Okay, Thancred, where are you? Hiding against the wall. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is li like... It is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the, their caravan, our friends at Amar... Amarjinan sons, mineral concerns, have doubled security over their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our first priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us for his full cooperation. 
to drive on. So how long do you think it'll be till we'll get some voice acting again? I'm going to guess a while. Oh, hello, naked man. With a very nice book. And a rose. I guess we're going to be here for a while, so let's set the home point. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Welcome to my nightmares. Alright, so let's go and talk to this chap. Hello, Isambard. I am Isambard. Here I search for the missing folk, I take it. I mean, I sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned us about... To be wary of your, uh, 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 to be wary of the Amal Jar, it seems we know who, who the culprits are at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people here have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can to, to help see the victims safely returned. Eh? Uh, sure, I'll have a new necklace. Why not? Ba ba da 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 da. Isambard of Count Dryborn is seeking help to solve the mystery of the missing persons. Let us get right to it then. Minfilia names the Amal Jar cul culprits in all this. You would do well to investigate them first. Much harm has been levied on these lands by Amal Jar hands. The flames burn with it, they might, but the light cannot stay the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders of callers at the Church of Saint Adama Landama. Incidents wishing no more than to pay their innocence, wishing more, no more to pay their respects to the dead. Poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would say to the deeds before. Mongols catch the scent, but I know not if the Amalja are still linger. Would you secure the remains for me, friend? You will find them in the Eastern Road. Oh. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of what the Amalja are seeking in this area. Great, I'm a corpse carrier now. Whoopee! Just what I always wanted. Of course, I'm going the wrong way. The jackals are out. I'm quite good, well camouflaged here, aren't I? <laughs> oh, that's a nice purple aura I'm seeing there. You sense a hostile presence. Hello, Amaljars. That everyone? Thank God I've got a hammer space that I can just throw these corpses into. Because I'm not a corpse carrier. Retrieve ripe corpses. Ugh, lovely. Stairs? Who needs stairs? Ow. Hello again, Isambard. It's good to see you returned. We will secure the remains of our fallen. Yep, yeah, you go. With their bodies given, the, their bodies given back, prop back to the earth, the souls will find their way across to the other side. 
You've done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of the Amalja? Did you see any? Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less take their quarry un unawares. Ah, so there were Amalja remaining, after all. Hmm, I feared as much. Their part in the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there is more to this than meets the eye. The occasional Amalja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kinds of numbers. The total is too great. And the question's too many. I would not it would not surprise me in the least to learn of another hand in this. But whose? Countless travellers pass through Dryborne every day, and even if uh, even if it were one among them if it were one among them, how would we best discover who may implicate in these vanishings? Da 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 Next up we have to do things. <laughs>